Hey guys, Thoughtless Minds. So I'm going to be showing you how to parent bones in MMD. So if you're not sure what that is, I will show you an example. So this is a hair that my friend sent to me that she was editing, I guess. And as you can see, like, the back's not attached to the bangs. Like, the bangs are its own separate thing. Like not what I wanted um I believe it was this book like their their own separate thing so I'm going to show you how to make it so they follow the same bone so what you're going to do is you're going to go into pmx editor and open the file that you like so in my case it would be the hair file once I find it right here okay so what you're gonna do is you're gonna open that okay i guess i can close out of a actually nah i'll just leave it open um so it's here like this so what you're gonna do is like i did earlier so gotta load the hair back uh you're going to find the bone that that part of the hair follows so for example the back hair here follows this bone here so if i turn it it follows and then for the bangs it's this bone up here so you just got to find the bone that it mainly follows so now that that's an mmd you're going to want to have the bone selected like this one it's not the same for all of them and then I normally use this tool, and then in PMX editor in the view, well I guess this is the view, but like in this window you're going to go to bone, then I normally zoom in on this, and then, so this is the bone that you want, right here, for in this case, so that will be bone zero, so you're going to find the bone that the hair attaches to which I believe is which one was it was it 10 or was it 1 let me double check sometimes I forget too so yeah we all make mistakes okay no it is Okay, so it's hair F, which was this one. So you're just going to literally, oh wait, no, no, sorry, uh, that, yeah, no, that bone is that for that. Did I open the right file? Cause I know I have a file of this that is like already fixed. Why are you saying your parent bone's already zero? Or is it this one? Uh, okay, yeah, that's the one I want. Okay, so if I do that as zero, like if I just see how it says parent here, I change that to zero, I want to see if that's the file that I want. So yeah, now they are one piece. Literally all you do. So you just basically find the main bone and just go from there. Like I can show you how to do something else. Like so for example, the tail that I use for my model, like let's use this when it loads faster. <laughs> Uh, you have to know how to parent the bone. So, I'll, I can show you how to do that too. Ok, 
Okay, so as you can see, like the tail that I use for my model. It's got really nice physics, if I do admit. Uh, so you're just going to... I gotta figure figure out which model has it because I'm bad and I am very disorganized. Don't excuse the mess. Cat, you are driving me nuts. You have one, right? Yes. Okay. No, I want this. So if I go and I find a TDA base, which I should have one in here because I know I was working on something. Right here. Guess I wasn't really working on much. <laughs> So I normally just like add okay. Come on. Okay. Select all of it. Where's your tail? Oh. Okay, and then once that's loaded, okay, so for this one, I just have this off by heart, but I'll show you how to do it anyways. So if you have this specific tail and can't figure out why it's not following the model, like, because if you, if you attach it just like this and you load a motion to the model, it, um, um, what was I gonna say? It just stays. It like it it won't follow the model because it's not parented. So once again, you want to go to the bone in your PMX editor, and then you want to zoom in. I normally oh, put up if I did that. I normally use this bone, like number twelve. For example, this is number twelve on mine. It might not be for your base, but it is for mine. I normally just use this one. So if you have this exact tail, you're going to go down to tail 1, change the parent bone from negative 1 to negative 12, and then, and then tail center to 12 as well. So I'm just going to move it over so then it's attached to um, like the model so it's like there. It would help if I could move stuff. So you just move it over, and then, uh, don't tell me I have to sneeze, don't tell me I have to sneeze, oh, come on. Okay, now I gotta go find my base. Um... Am I blind? No, it's right there. So I'll also show you what I mean by like it stays in one place. So I'll just Oh, I did move the joints, right? Yes, okay, so. Okay, so test will be the one that doesn't have the tail attached. So I'll just show you an example of what I'm meaning. Okay, so test. So I'll just quickly load a motion to this. Don't mind me, I was doing something. <laughs> this is the main motion I use.
This is just like the made motion I used to test out like Um, everything. It'll take a minute to load because of my recorder, but, like, yeah, this is what I mean. It literally just stays in the middle of the thing because it's not parented. But if you parent it like we did here, there is a cat on my arm. Can you not? Thank you. Oh, I didn't move it, but. Oh, well, I, I, I'm not moving it now. Just gotta wait for it to load. And see, now it follows the model. Ta -da! So, yeah, that's how you parent bone. It's a lot easier than people think. Yeah, so I hope this helped. Yeah.